know every day. I think. If I hadn't gone there, then maybe she'd still be alive. You can't blame yourself. I can't not blame myself. We don't decide who we fall for, you know. You've been hurt again. Leo and Rona, they were threatened. And he just gets away with it again. And there's nothing we can do. I could tell someone. Yeah. And you said yourself you'll end up going to prison. And what will that do to your mum? If she lost her best friend, then she'd lose you. Never mind what it'd do to Andy or Diane. Or me. So he just walks away? Yes. When are you going to get that into your head? The man's a maniac. And I know that you cared for him once, but look what's just happened to me. Think about what might happen to you. I'm so sorry. I don't want you to apologise. I'm begging you, mate. Please, you can't win with people like that. You have to let them destroy themselves. And what happens if they don't? And you have to live with it. As long as you have nothing more to do with him. And he's not your problem. Please. Move on. You know, I always said I'd give my kids a better life than I've had. What? Diane was a bad mum. No, no, she wasn't. It was just really difficult for her on her own. We had our ups and downs. Especially when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am in the same situation. Hey, don't beat yourself up. There's no such thing as the perfect parent. Believe me, I know. I reckon you and I have got quite a lot in common. Reckon we have. <laughs> it's... It's been a lovely evening. Yeah, I've enjoyed myself. We should do it again. That'd be nice. Oh, sorry, I, I need to call a cab. You got an early start, right? Yeah, right. Look, I'm sorry, OK? Ten minutes married and he's already lying to me. Brilliant start. Do you want us to end up like Marlon and Laurel? No! Look, I'm really sorry. And if you want me to bin Vanessa off tomorrow, I will do. But you think that's what's bothering me? Well, I take that as a no. Well, aside from you lying to me, for which, make no mistake, you'll suffer, and aside from you treating like a battle axe, again, for which... I'll suffer. I get it. Adam, you can't pretend that this baby isn't going to affect us. It's part of your life, so therefore it's part of mine. So try acting like a grown-up. I will do. I promise. So, what do you want me to do about this kind of exactly? Well, I want you to go, don't I? And I'll be coming too. Oh, God. What are you doing here? Something you need to know. Why? What's happened? Hello, mate. Leave. Now. Not till I talk to your wife. Why? Well, what is this? I mean it. Go. That affair that, that Katie accused him of. It was true. Oh, not this again. It started before you got married. It carried on after. You weren't going mad. Well, I feel like I am now. Yeah, well, you're not. Because it was with me. <laughs> he's lying. Of course he's lying. For God's sake, Aaron! He's the one that's lying, just look at him. You stop this. I can tell you where we met, when we met. I can even tell you where you were. Just, just think about it, Chrissy. Think about it. Why would he want to stay here for a week while you lot went to the coast? I mean, it. Shut up. Because he wanted to be here with me, didn't you? I spent the full week here in your bed. And you know that that surprise that he had for you at the hotel, the old club, yeah? I was there too. Me. And him saw you and Katie coming, so I had to scarper. No, you didn't. 
Why do you think he was late for your wedding, Chrissy? Because he was with me! You gonna deny it or do you want me to carry on? Work for. It's gone. Chrissy, listen to oh, me. Oh, yeah, everything's starting to make sense no, now. No, listen, think of me. You have to know I love you. Don't touch me! Get out! You are a liar! Chrissy. 